Unfortunately, Sergio Aguero, one of the greatest strikers to ever grace the Premier League, has had to hang up his boots due to health problems. It's unlikely he'll ever play at a professional level again. So today, we've put him back at the start of his career in Football Manager. So here he is at Independiente in Argentina. We've changed all his stats and his age so that he is right back where he would have been at 17. And obviously it's not precise, but I got these stats from getting a prime version of Aguero, adding the physicals and the mentals and the technicals. Before then, giving him a current ability of 130, which is it's high. It is definitely high, but, uh, well, you know, he's a good player. I've also given him a potential range of 160 to 190, I think, because I feel like he did fall in somewhere in that category. He was world class, but he wasn't quite in that final category, you know, with your your 190s but yeah looking at him here we've got the young picture of a young Aguero that was about as young as I could find but I still think that's that's not bad and if we take a look at his stats you know I mean he looks pretty good for a for a 17 year old maybe a little too good he will surely get on pretty well in his career all of this was taken from his original model we just copied it over and changed the stats he has an ambitious personality type, and I added the trait places shots. I don't know if that's already on him, if we take a look at... He obviously has these other traits, comes to get the ball deep, blah, 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 blah. But I added this one in, just purely because I thought that was the most crucial. But in terms of the rest of them, uh, he'll develop these as he goes throughout his career. In terms of his plans for his career, I have set it up in a way that he has a preference to play for the clubs that he did play for. But now let's simulate on five years into the future and see where Sergio Aguero has ended up in this simulation. So here we are five years into the future and Aguero has ended up at Bayer Leverkusen, which is very interesting. That was not what I was expecting at all. He's actually currently unhappy at his club as well. He wants to leave the club due to the club getting relegated. Wow, I did not expect this at all. So he's played once for the Argentinian first team. I was expecting a very different turn of events for Sergio Aguero. He's coming on quite well. I mean, his mentals have gone up a bit. I'm not too sure what else has actually increased, but his value certainly has. So let's take a look at stats. What's he been doing? Okay, so he played one season in Argentina for Independiente, which went well. He scored 12 goals, 7.11 rating, which is, which is quite good, quite a solid first season of your career so he was poached and put in the Man United Academy if we look at his non-competitive stats where he did very well and then again very well but didn't play any games for United at all so just played B team football for three years so he did this he would have been 18 19 20 up until Aguero was 21 he was in the Man United Academy and played two games in the Premier League so Bayer Leverkusen come in with 26 million last summer and in 17 games, he scored twice. In all fairness, he started eight games and he scored six goals in all competitions. So he's come on as a sub a lot. They've been relegated. Let's take a look at the, the Bundesliga this season. They finished last. They finished rock bottom. I don't think he's won anything. Uh, if we check his milestones. So they were DFB Pogo runners up, but they finished last in the Bundesliga against Bayern Munich. Did he actually play? No, he didn't play. He didn't even get on the pitch. He's won the Premier League under 23. He's, he's been doing that. He played for Argentina, third place in the Pan American Games. I have no idea what that is. But, you know, at least whenever he played for the United Under-23s, he's done very well. Didn't win anything with uh, Independiente. So he's been not great, it seems, for Sergio Aguero. Hopefully in five years' time, which we're going to simulate tonight, Sergio Aguero has actually done something with his career because this is quite terrible. So we'll we'll check in another five years when Sergio Aguero is 27. Okay, so five years later, we are in 2031 now. And Aguero has moved to Olympic Marseille. And the first thing I noticed is he's now accomplished at all of these roles, which is interesting. Take a look at his attributes straight away. He's obviously become an insane player. Dribbling 17, first touch 16, passing 16, penalty taking 16. Technique 16, vision 16, off the ball 18, composure 18, and look at those physicals. I mean, wow, what a flyer. He started to rank up the international captain goals. If we look at his stats, we left him in 2026. So he did actually stay with Bayer Leverkusen and played Bundesliga 2 football, scoring 14 and 31 with two assists. 
15 in all competitions before being re-promoted to the Bundesliga where he would then again score 14 in 27 with two assists with 15 again in all competitions before sealing a 67 million pound deal to Olympic Marseille where he would hit 18 goals and 6 assists in 29 games, 21 goals and 8 assists in 32 games, 17 goals and 7 assists in 28 games. So it's fair to say that since his move to France, and actually more in fact, since his relegation to the Bundesliga 2, it's been only up for Sergio Aguero. And he's excited about his team's chance of winning the Champions League trophy. Okay, so how good is Olympic Marseille? Let's take a look at Aguero's milestones and see if they've won anything. No, they have not. He has not won anything. Did he win any individual awards? So he's been Uber Eats top goal scorer. He won two in a row. UEFA Team of the Year, Champions League Golden Boot. He's won that once. They finished second since Aguero came in. The season before they finished third and the season before they finished third again. He's actually also adapted the trait cuts in from both wings, which means he must be playing on the wing. But yes, let's now simulate another five years where Aguero will be 32 and see how he is getting on there. Okay, so we're back in another five years. Aguero is now 32 and he is at Real Madrid. He is injured right now and on international duty, but injured. Looking at those caps, he definitely got more game time with the Argentine national team. 71 caps, 36 goals. I believe he has not quite outscored real Sergio Aguero, but if he keeps playing, he's well on track to, because Aguero only scored 41 goals, or Aguero scored 36, but he's made the big move to Real Madrid if we look at some of his stats. His finishings went up, dribblings went down with age, but technically still pretty good, physically still pretty good. His mentals, insane. Looking at this season's stats though, not great. 10 goals in 22 games, 6 assists. It's alright. I mean, he didn't play much at all. So let's just take a look at his stats. Number 10, by the way, very nice. He moved after his worst season in terms of goals, but best season in terms of rating in France. He moved for 83 million to Real Madrid, where he just, he banged it, he went boom. 20 goals, 8 assists, 31 games, first season. Best season of his career, I think, in terms of rating. Second best in terms of goals and assists. So the next season then, 17, 3 assists, 15, 2 assists. And then this season, 10 goals. So definitely a big drop off for Aguero. Is that the age? Is that what this is? Could be. Or it could be a down season, maybe with some injuries. We look at 2035, which would be from about here onwards. He's a four month injury. Okay, there we go. So he's not slowed down yet, he's just had a bad injury. But yeah, he's, he's definitely stepped up his game. I, th I mean, originally when he had this big blip at Man United, which was just a disaster, and then relegation with Bayer Leverkusen. But bounced back, he's made it to one of the biggest clubs in Europe. And let's hope that he won a trophy. We'll go right back down to where we were. We were with Marseille in 2031, and they had just finished second. In the next season, we moved in the summer of 2032. Since we left him, he won the Copa del Rey, won the La Liga runner-up as top scorer, but he did win Spanish Player of the Year and then Argentine Player of the Year again. Then he won the Super Copa and La Liga the next season, being just Super Copa winners. So the trophies have sort of slowed down. He did win some things, which is good. And uh, I don't think we missed any real awards in terms of competitions. Okay, well, we did. He was UEFA Champions League runner-up. That's tough. They lost in 2034. They would have lost to Man City right here. Aguero losing to Man City in the final. Well, Copa del Rey runners-up this season as well. How has La Liga been going then? Because they won the first two, but then didn't win this year. Uh, so Barcelona won it this year. Barcelona won it last year. Real Madrid second. Real Madrid third. Winners. Winners, yeah. Okay. But he did have a big impact. They were fourth, and then he came in, and then they were first. Okay. He's not had the career that he's had in real life. He scored his first international goal 24. Wow. It's really late. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to simulate right to the end of his career and then sort of do a review and see how he's done and everything. I don't think he's reached the heights he's had in real life, but we're going to take a look now at the end in however many years it takes him to retire. So here we are in 2041. Aguero is now retiring, and the first thing I look at is he only ever scored 39 goals, so he didn't score many goals for Argentina after that last time we looked. He stayed at Real Madrid. And if we look at his finishing, has gone up, dribbling's way down. He's a veteran striker now, he's professional. His physicals are dropping. His mentals are amazing. Obviously, still his finishing's still good. Definitely can still put the ball in the back of the net. And if we look at this season stats, 11 assists in the Liga. That's pretty eye-catching. So he, he must have become some sort of creator. But he has decided to hang his boots up at the ripe old age of 36. So a little bit older than he was in real life. Let's take a look at how he's done since we last left off in what was... 
in what was 2036. So this was another five years. In the next season, he shot back up with 17 goals and 11 assists in 38 league games. 33 goals in all competitions. 10 continental goals. That's crazy. 21 goals in 2037 and 2038. Nine assists. That's an insane season. And he, he would have been old as well at that stage. And then 13 goals, 12 goals. You can see the number dropped a little bit. And then eight goals and 11 assists. Which is second highest assist he's ever had in his career, which is pretty good. If we look at his plans, he actually, ironically, played for Real Madrid, who is both Atletico Madrid and Barcelona's rival. And he also played for Man United, which is Man City's rival. So let's take a look at his milestones from 2036. In 2037, he was Champions League Golden Boot runner-up, Champions League Forward of the Season runner-up. How did Real Madrid get on in this, I wonder? It was in the Team of the Year, shortlisted for the FIFA Best Men's Player. Didn't win it. They were Copa America runners-up, then they were Copa del Rey runners-up, and then they were Super Copa de España runners-up. Ouch. So he didn't win anything more from when we last checked in at all. So although individually he has been quite good, he hasn't won anything. It's a bit of an anti-climax, really. I was hoping he'd won the Champions League, but once again, like real life, he did not win the Champions League. We can check his potential ability. He had a potential ability of 175, which is pretty good. So to commemorate the ending of our Sergio Aguero's career, I compiled all of his stats from his 21-year career from all competitions. In the end, he played 676 games, scoring 330 goals, which was not 0.49 per 90, and he assisted 116 times, which was not 0.17 times per 90. He scored 67 penalties from a possible 80, which is an 84% accuracy, with the shots on target ratio being 51% and a pass success rate being 84%. Over the course of his career, he dribbled 1.02 times a game. He managed to win player of the match 71 times and finished his career with an average rating of 7.25. Aguero in real life played more games at 770, scored more goals at 442 and assisted more times at 137 with both ratios being better. In terms of competition wins, Aguero won two league titles and one cup along with two super cups. Compared to real life Aguero that really wasn't great as he had five league titles, six league cups, one cup win, one Europa League, one Super Cup, one European Super Cup, and two international trophies. However, one area that Araguero did do slightly better in was the individual side of things. Araguero won League Player of the Year once, which Real Life Aguero failed to do, and was top scorer in the league twice, which Real Life Aguero only managed to do once. Also, Araguero managed to be top scorer of the Champions League once, which Real Life Aguero also failed to do. But Araguero also managed to get League Team of the Year six times, compared to Real Life Aguero's twice, and managed to get Champions League Team of the Year twice, where Real Life Aguero never got in. And finally, Real Life Aguero had won seven Player of the Months, whereas Araguero had only won five. But overall, individually, you could make the argument that Araguero did better. The area where he certainly does beat Real Life Aguero is in the Champions League. He played 82 games, scoring 44 goals and getting 10 assists, whereas Real Life Aguero only played 79 games, scoring 41 goals and getting 9 assists, which is close, but Araguero does quite edge it in all aspects of that competition. On the whole, I believe that Araguero faced more difficult challenges. Still, however, I do think that he played well enough to be at least compared to real life Aguero. And with that, that brings Sergio Aguero's career to an end in Football Manager. Mm -hmm.